Now, whether you're a balanced bike beginner or a sick bike park shredder, the Humble Pump Track is a great place to hone your skills. There's so much you can do on them, but what are a few of the skills you can learn at a pump track? Pump tracks are small circuits that consist of jumps, rollers, and berms. They're made in a loop so you can ride it over and over again if you like. For how small they are, they're really tiring. They're either made of tarmac or dirt and a great place to learn and develop new skills. The best thing about pump tracks is that no matter your skill set or age, you can ride one and you can always learn something as well. Generally, the idea is that you aren't pedaling around a pump track and they're made to teach you how to pump or use the ground to generate speed. One of the best things you can learn at pump track then is, yep, you guessed it, as the name suggests, pumping, basically using the ground to generate speed. Now, what you'll do is when you're on your bike, regardless of what bike it is, you'll be pumping and pulling, pushing the bike up and down all over the rollers and the bumps and in the turns to actually generate speed. And that's gonna help you go around the pump track without having to pedal at all. All of those skills are all learned on the pump track, all of that ability to really generate and work the ground beneath you. Believe it or not, there are actually pump track races and even pump track world championships where the racers will take their chains off and they have to race so they can't pedal and they've got to generate their own speed under their own steam, if you like. Now, you can do this, like I said, on rollers, but another crucial part of the track is in corners. So learning how to generate speed through the turns is gonna really link up all the other sections. Generating or maintaining speed in turns is an area of a lot of our riding that most people can really struggle with. Actually keeping speed through turns or even coming out of a turn with more speed is a really specialist skill. And a pump track is a great place to learn that because it's such a controlled environment. I know that I'm gonna hit this turn exactly the same almost every single time. The turn's not going to have changed. So I can really dial in and practice my technique until I'm absolutely flying out of it. Then I can take that over onto the trails and get my downhill ride in and my trail ride in as fast as it can be as well. Pump tracks can be a great place to learn how to jump. They're relatively safe and the gaps between one roller and the next usually aren't too big. But most importantly is that if you case a jump or come up short, you're not gonna fall in a big old hole or be in too much trouble. <laughs> the downside, however, though, is that they're usually made of a much harder surface, so do be careful. But casing a jump is a great lesson too, because if you case a jump enough times, you'll realize that you either need more speed or you need to pull up a bit more. What do I mean about pulling up though? Well, sometimes you just can't get enough speed for a jump and you need to supplement this with a bit of upward pull. Pulling up hard on the bars on the jump will give you a bit extra height and so a bit more distance. It can go pretty wrong though, so practice this a lot. Linking things together is one of the most fun things you can do at a pump track. Now that could be anything from various combos through lots of rollers, like roller, manual, double, whatever, or you know, you move on to something a little bit more advanced. So we're gonna try here where we're gonna gap out of one berm and land into another. Pump tracks are great for doing this because again, it's that controlled environment. So that I know if I do it and I come up short, well, okay, a bit more speed needed, maybe carry more speed in the turns. If I go too long, well then I've probably pulled a bit too hard and uh, rein it in for the next go, but it just means that you can have endless amounts of fun trying new combos. I'm looking for gaps, Leo. I can't find any. Can't gaps. Aha! Here we go. Berm to berm. We're going to gap out of here into this one, I think. And then if I'm feeling particularly spicy, we might try and gap out of this one into that one. Ooh, that's a good one. Gap to gap, berm to berm to berm. Let's try that. Whoa, you rock it around that. I think that second one's on. I gained so much speed though. Ooh. Oh no. You gotta get, it's amazing. Like you, when you gap them, you gotta get like, to get the second one, you have to get the sweet spot on the first one. That's tricky. Oh, okay. Nice. I think we tidied that up a bit now. Oh. Nice. The 
there's not much room for error at a pump track, so there's a great incentive to learn how to ride smooth. If you come off, well, that behind me there is not very forgiving. That tarmac ain't going anywhere. So learning and sort of coming up with how to ride it nice and smoothly, even if you start a bit rough around the edges to begin with, like I said, coming up short or case and jumps or even not maintaining speed and not clearing stuff properly is a great incentive to learn to ride it smooth and really get it absolutely nailed by the end of it. There you go then, there are some amazing things that you can learn at the pump track. So why not get on down there, have a spin, find out where your local one is and really get to grips and nail some of those skills. It's really fun, I promise. But I'm done for today. Why not let me know what you thought down in the comments. I'm gonna go put some laps in and I will catch you later. Happy riding everybody.